So you agree, I'm guessing, with the ruling from the federal court in California on Proposition 8 that the 14th Amendment says you cannot bar gays from the same marriage rights as heterosexuals have, correct? That's my personal view. It absolutely is. What if your religious belief tells you polygamy is okay? Should you have equal protection? No. Why not? Polygamy is outlawed everywhere in the United States. Right. Gay marriage was outlawed in California, but a court said that's unconstitutional. Well, that wasn't because of religious beliefs. No, it was As a matter of fact, the under opposite. The 14th Amendment. That's right. The opposite is true. The court in California, which is a lower court and it's going to be appealed and we're going to we're going to have a whole bunch of litigation, time, resources and most of my interview devoted to an issue that really should draw a distinction between religion and individuals who have a place in society that for order ought to be recognized, if not for allowing someone to put somebody on their insurance policy so when they go to the... So why shouldn't three people be allowed to get married? Why do you care? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do you care? Okay, well, let's go into... As, as if, you, if you don't want to go is through... illegal because it has violated most people's religion and their personal beliefs. It's the same reason gay marriage was illegal for a long time. A lot of people's religion told them it was wrong. You, as I understand it, you'd like to have a discussion of the harms to society of polygamy. Why it should be legally banned if consenting adults want to do that. You, so you're not asking about what the uniform law is in the United States. You instead are asking on a policy level, what are the harms of changing yes. what is okay. well, our accepted practice? Because it was accepted practice to bar uh, interracial marriage for a long time. I'm not really concerned about accepted practice. I'm concerned about people's rights. Why don't three people have the right to get married? Particularly in this day and age where women are subject to, I think, more likely to be the multiple spouse in such arrangements. Protecting the rights of women in that circumstance are not as, not as easy, not as viable as the easiness of protecting the husband. For the most part, in, in this society, it's the women who are taken advantage. So you call them consenting adults, but the model that we generally see in the kind of society that has multiple females as wives is not consenting adults. Indeed, heavy questions are raised about whether or not those who are involved in the, what you call consenting marriage, are not consenting uh, okay. so you're down.